Hey everybody, welcome to Texas E-Chat. I'm Serge. I'm Rob. I'm Gen Z. And I am Gen X. And today we are starting our Halo 3 ODST journey with Rob. Um, we're going to start off with the trailers first. So today the trailer we're going to be watching is a live action trailer for Halo 3 ODST. I think it's called The Life. I'm not, I'm not sure what the original name was, but um, it's... Uh, well, before I go into it, I want to ask you, do you remember what an ODST is? I mentioned to you uh, many times throughout, just to kind of like reinforce in your mind, but I just want yeah. to make sure you're kind of clear on this. Yeah, I think, okay, don't ask me what stands for yet. Um, mm -hmm. Give me a second to think about that. But these are Marines, but they're like super special forces Marines. And you would kind of look at them as kind of in between a Marine and, um, and like Master Chief. Um, but they're normal. They're not modified in any right. way. So they're they're just they're like special forces. That's yeah. That's basically a basic way of putting it. Is they're, they're special forces. So you have like the standard Marines that you would fight alongside in the games. Um, they'll have like they'll be like mm. in Halo Two and Halo Three, for example. They would have like those the green armor, and you could see their faces. Yeah. The ODSTs, they're special, specially trained forces, and they would wear um, like full armor that's kind of like darker color, like typically like black. Maybe it has like some military camo on it. Um, I think it like varies depending on which Halo game. But they they have a full helmet, so like they have like kind of like a Spartan. They also have that like the visor and everything. Yeah. Um, and there's a pretty big thing that they're known for. Do you remember what that is? Yeah. So these guys are uh, they're what I would call them. It's not your term, but like a, a drop force, meaning mm. they'll drop from the uh, at the atmosphere and uh, land in these pods, which are really cool. But they're just like a single man pod or single person pod, mm -hmm. and, and um, then they just go in and it, and attack. But these guys are like fearless and uh, i think it's really cool watching them drop from the mm. you know when they're launched from uh, from the atmosphere yeah and you actually got to as master chief go down to one of their pods remember yeah that's right team. yeah yeah do you remember what odst stands for okay i knew you were gonna ask that <laughs> uh odst um yeah you know, i know as soon as you say it i'm gonna say yes i know that um operational defense Standard, no, 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 no. Uh, <laughs> I know this one, mm -hmm. but I don't. I forgot it right now. Orbital Drop Shock Trooper. Orbital Drop Shock Trooper. Yeah, yeah. so they, because they drop down from space. Yeah. Um, and then, of course, that's abbreviated to ODST. Do you, uh, I mentioned this not too long ago. Do you remember their motto? Uh, something like, uh, it's not baptism by fire. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, uh, Oh, feet first into hell. There you go. There yeah, you go. that's the right yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. And and then they have like this. Uh, some of them we like even get tattoos or like a burning skull in a drop pod flying down to. And the reason their motto is feet first into hell is because they're going in the drop pods, feet first landing into a hot zone. Like yeah, a combat exactly. zone. So when you see one of those tattoos, um, sometime I want to pause it and, and check it out. Mm, okay. You know, when we see one on the frame. Hmm. Yeah, and also. Um, in, so in Halo 3 ODST, you don't play as a Master Chief. You're no longer a Super Soldier Spartan. You're going to play as an ODST. I'm one of these orbital drop Dog shot shot troopers. troopers. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So. Cool. So a different character. Uh, but will I be the same one like uh, ODST Reynolds or um, I don't so know, Javier or something? You know, the same one. You're going to be... Mm, no, actually. Um, I don't want to give it away yet because okay. it might be a spoiler, but you'll see. Okay. It's pretty interesting. Um, I'm ready to go. Yeah. So you're going to actually be playing, uh, your main character is going to be someone known as the Rookie. Okay. So I'll explain more as we jump into Halo 3. I'm going to say, though, this is very apropos for me because I love skydiving. Oh, really? Seriously. You, have um, you skydived before? Oh, of course. You haven't seen my videos? No. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got to show them to you. How many times have so, you skydived? Well, I want to brag or anything, but uh, maybe we'll we'll post my, my, one of my videos and react to it oh that'd be fun but uh yeah it's a blast so i'm gonna feel like i'm i'm in my zone nice yeah i'll, I'll i prefer my feet planted firmly on the ground so <laughs> firmly I'll, I'll just enjoy watching from the side <laughs> but with that being said um today's trailer is a live like i said it's a live action trailer pretty exciting um this one was done as like an advertisement for the game of course to get people excited for yeah. it and this one goes into like it does like a quick series of events and it shows like the life of one ODST. So okay. Like, so, so like from beginning to end of like him wanting to become an ODST to, to him going through training to him dropping into combat as an ODST, like the whole shebang. Okay, so that's kind of cool. So you actually kind of see the life. The of, life of an the, ODST. Yeah, yeah. Development of one. Awesome. Yeah, now I'm looking forward to seeing this. Thank you so much for getting me into this and introducing me to it because um, 
It just sounds it sounds really cool. Yeah. So <laughs> I know it's a bit of a longer intro, guys. It's for that Sorry. reason. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> for that reason, we include chapters on our videos if you ever yeah. want to skip to the <laughs> straight straight to the reaction. But with that being said, let's we're just having down. a good time. What can I tell you? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Rated M for mature. And that was um, released probably you know, half a year or so before the game came out, or uh, whenever it was. I, I don't remember. It. But it was I, I can see ago, people yeah. seeing this and saying, "Yeah, I can't wait for this yeah. game to come out." You know? Yeah. Come on, bring it on! <laughs> what a, a trailer! Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. What do you think? Oh, it was it was awesome. Mm -hmm. um, you, you know, the, so the thing that to see him as a young kid and mm -hmm. seeing probably his dad. Right, you know, as some da his dad or some close family, someone member. really important. Mm -hmm. But then to see him in the, his drop pod, mm -hmm. and then land, uh, and then the chaos of the battlefield, incredible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, come on, let's play, let's play. Right, you know? and that, that the passing the close family members like what got him to want to join yeah. and become an ODST himself. Yeah. And you see at the very end there, him surviving was kind of like a fluke. It was kind of like mm -hmm. a lucky, a brute. lucky yeah. coincidence because he was shooting the brute and the brute was not going down. Yeah. But in the background, one of the Covenant's banshees got shot down and it crashed right into the brute yeah. and took him out. So that guy could have been dead. And I think uh, in that moment, um, if I go back, let me share a screen. If you, you go back to that one moment, <clears throat> right here, right? Where it crashes into the brute, takes him out. Did after, after this thing, did you pick up who it cuts to? Oh, it cuts up to the older guy because look at the scar on his face. Yeah, so it's he's a scar he got here. Mm -hmm. When it cuts to this next scene, same, same scar. Guy, yep. So it's so it basically he survived all of these after all this time. And he yeah. continued to fight, and so even as as he becomes an older guy, he's still fighting. Mm -hmm. And he, now he's no longer like a new guy, right? Not just a guy who's serving. He's a party seasoned. Unit. This guy. Yeah, he, he's a seasoned uh, vet yeah. veteran. And he has his own squad, his own members. He watches over. And right now they're having like an impromptu funeral, from mm -hmm. probably for one of his guys, because mm -hmm. you see. Um, this is how burials happens. They put the helmet on, like, the rifle. And then you see him. He's the first one to put his helmet on mm -hmm. to go to the battle. Yep. And it's, like, all extinctual. They're, like, used to it now. So as soon as gunfire happens, immediately jump, just jumping back into combat. Because yep. that's all he knows now. Yep. So, yeah. I think it's, like, one of the most badass trailers that it is. has put out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... Yeah, I like this, which means also it's it's 
make me say, come on, let's put it in that game and uh, let's play it. Yeah. yeah. yeah so when are they coming out with it? Oh. <laughs> I know they already did. Yeah. That's my hint to say to him, come on. Yeah. Quit, quit holding so, back on me here. Yeah, we're going to be jumping into the game real soon. We're going to watch one more trailer and then we're going to okay. hop into the game. So, so these two trailers were um, sort of like marketing trailers for the game before right. it came out. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, at least that's what I understand for it. But yeah, cool. So, that being said, what do you think? Uh, I can't wait to play it. Sounds good. All Let's right. Put well, in that next trailer. Next trailer. All right. Yeah. Here we go. So, we hope you guys enjoy. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell icon so you can check out when uh, we put out the next reaction to the next trailer that Rob's going to watch, and as well as when we start Halo Three. Yeah. So, all right, guys. Stay tuned. You'll see Stay you tuned. soon. Take care.